Evening folks, um, tonight uh, we're looking at the Model D Plus, oh, a little bit off the screen here, um, through the Procession Reverb. Um, so my previous video, um, we were looking at the Neutron through the Model D, and we then, before that, we looked at the Pro 1 through, sorry, what did I say? The Neutron through the Procession Reverb, yeah. The Pro 1 through the Procession Reverb. Uh, we've also been building up a little track, which we'll finish off tonight with a bit of bass from the Model D. Let me just set up my camera for you here. Oh, there's a big, there's a big USB cable in the way, and that's because we're going to play the Model D uh, from the SQ1 uh, tonight for a, a bit of a change. Um, let's just turn it off. Um, so we've got that Model D. Um, let me just move the camera there. We can see that there. Lovely. Um, let's just turn off the tape delay. A little bit of compression from the Lexicon. <laughs> Sounds very nice, a little bit dry. Um, let's hit it with some procession reverb. Top setting, the flange mode, um, everything at 12 o'clock. And yeah, so this is what this sounds like. Sounds re good. Sounds re good. Um, let's just do a little bit of playing. Obviously, with the mix turned down, we don't don't hear anything. So this is again. This is the flange reverb. So really slow, but really, really slow and deep. I move you just randomly stop there. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's take a listen to the middle setting, which is that kind of filter with reverb. As you might expect, you get that kind of auto wire effect, which you can probably make super quick, super deep, or make super slow and super deep. So don't mind that setting. So if it's in that central position, the it's kind of auto wah kind of thing. If you put the speed to the very minimum, you don't get that kind of clowny kind of cl clownish, you know, auto wah effect. <laughs> and then we can take the mix up, reverb up. Was sort of trapped in a trapped in a church kind of kind of sound um the bottom setting is tremolo 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 and again we have can have super quick tremolo doesn't sound great As an effect or super slow tremolo. I'm just going to change the envelope to a very slow attack, slow decay. To 
to my taste, keep everything at 12 o'clock for, th for these synths. Just sounds, just sounds good. So we're currently controlling the Model D from the CM1A. So I'm going to remove the gate, remove the volts per octave input, and then go over here to the SQ1 from good old Corgi Korg. Uh, gate is white, so that needs to go in LC gate. Um, volts per octave, one volt per octave. There we go. Uh, here. This sounds less good in my ears. Um, see, it's sort of, sort of bubbling away like that as a sequencer. That sounds a bit better. Bit of tape delay. Just quick comparison for you. Um, let's set the sequence going. Um, Hall reverb from the lexicon. Versus procession reverb. definitely is a more of just much more of obviously a characterful reverb um but yeah i think just thinking back to my previous videos i think it, this particular pedal had more of a sort of wow effect on the pro one and maybe the neutron um i think if the model d has been used in more of a, a sort of a bass synth kind of mode um obviously we don't want to sort of have it big washes of reverb on it um is what I think. Um, how I've got this current setup going on is the Pro One, the Neutron, and the Model D go to a little box here, and then just the output of that box goes into this reverb. So we can sort of, you know, send all, you know, the, the big sort of, all, well, all three synthesizers through this pedal at the same time. Um, so obviously for a live setup, that's something they might want to think about doing. Um, we've got a Reaper track going on here. Um, which we're sending some Neutron through. We are sending some Pro War 1. All very dry. Uh, and we're sending some Model D.
and we can hear all that together because we've you know we've farmed out the MIDI channels which sounds like this but with the pedal engaged in the flange mode um, oh, oh. So, you know, in terms of a live setup, you know, you could easily use just, just that one pedal to provide your reverb for one or more synths. Um, might want to record like that if, if well, I have, I have actually recorded those lines already um, just on, on their own separate stems going through this, um, which I will do a mix of at the end of the video to be able to hear all that sort of coming together. So, I really like this pedal. We'll wrap the video up. Um, I really like this pedal for, you know, for um, use on a synth, just to give you something a little bit different to just, you know, a vanilla sort of, here we go, you know, hall reverb kind of thing. Um, I really like the fact that you've got that kind of added texture into the reverb. It's not gonna be for everyone. It's not gonna be for everyone. And you know, these aren't the cheapest pedals in the world. Um, so it's like, you know, um, you know, they're around 200 pounds, dollars, euros, brand new, you know, so they're definitely sort of more of the kind of experimental effects, but I do like them a lot. I like them so much. In fact, that I got the sort of delay version as well. This is the Mondegreen, um, delay, uh, which is a modulated delay, um, while this is like, yeah, we can get a sort of reasonable sounding um, reverb um, out of this pedal, you know, if we sort of, you know, dial the, dial the speed setting down low, um, you know, and just, just, just the mix setting using jud judiciously and we can get sort of, yeah, this is a reverb effect. This on the other hand is just crazy town. Um, this, this isn't a sort of just, just a standard um, delay, but that's for another video. Okay, jam at the end. Um, I'll leave you with that. Um, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Ta-da!
Dee dee dee, can I put this on here like so? Oh, get out of the way, USB cable. 